Welcome to Steaming Ahead in Science. I'm Katie McCurdy from Gulf Coast State College. And I'm Jill Hansen with Bay District Schools. So today we're bringing you a, an experiment that you can do in your household with some things that you can probably just find around the kitchen or around your house. Um, we're going to do chromatography. Um, and today what you will need is a coffee filter, a just a little bit of water. You can use any type of cup. We have a beaker here, but you can use any type of cup at your house. And then you're going to need some markers, and we will talk about the different types of markers that we have out here um, based on the results that you'll get. We also have a pipe cleaner. This isn't necessary that you have it, and we'll show you why at the end. But again, it's just an option for you to use for the chromatography experiment. So Ms. Hansen's going to get us started um, with doing our chromatography. All right, for coffee chromatography, the best thing and the easiest thing to find is coffee filters, but you can experiment with different types of paper and see what might work. For your coffee filter, if you look at its circle shape, you're gonna to wanna to take your marker of choice, your pen of choice, and that's where the experiment comes in. What colors do you get and what type of markers work? You wanna draw your circle not in the center, but kind of around where it starts to crease. So if you wanna pick a marker, Miss McCurdy, now, does it have to be a continuous um, line, or can I break the line up? I'm going to do one big line. If you wanted to do a couple of different colors, okay. you can do anything you want, as long as it's not in right. the dead center. I'm going to draw one circle. You can experiment with colors. You can experiment with types of pens, highlighters, Sharpies. adding another color to mine just to show you guys. I think once you do it once, you start to try it again with multiple ones. Okay, so, so that's now, all we have to do. Yep, all right. And now you fold your coffee filter in half. Does it matter which way um, I drew on it to when I fold it? Or? No, not really. All right. And then you fold it in half again. At this point, you should have something looking kind of like this. And you're gonna place it in your cup or beaker. The important thing here is that you don't want this line in the water. So that's why we only have a little bit of water in the bottom. All right. So I just set that in and just let it barely touch the bottom. Yep. Is that correct? And if you folded it that way, it should stand up on its own. And now you have to wait. So we have waited approximately about five minutes um, to allow this process to happen. So the next step will be is that we will take this out. And if you spread it out, you'll see if you've had any colors separate. Oh. Oh, Miss McCurdy. Now, I didn't use brown, Miss Hanson. Mm, and I see some yellow in there, too. And we see your mm. blue. We see a lot of colors that maybe came from black. And if you think about colors... Black is made up of what? All colors. Mm. So if you experiment with different black pens and markers, you might be able to just get a rainbow effect. This is one we've done earlier that's already dried out. Very nice. So now what would my pipe cleaner be for? If you wanted to make a craft and make a flower or a butterfly, that's where your imagination gets to have fun. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you next time.